Hey, I just wanted to uh, put a little challenge out there with something that I've been going through and that God's really been showing me. And um, over the last couple years, I've really, really battled uh, being a complainer. And, and just it just seems like no matter what happens, I can instantly find something to complain about. And, and I do. And I haven't really realized how much I've become this person. And... Um, so I've been praying about it, and I've been asking God to, you know, show me when I do it, show me how to be better, keep, you know, just, just help me, basically. And, um, so I wanted to just share with you, really, like, what some of the things I've been, some of the things that God has been showing me as I've been praying this way. And so, like I said, I've been spending time, obviously, reading my Bible and praying and just seeking after God and just trying to get back to a place where I'm like, you know, I know, you know when you need, you know when you've been needing to get back to a place, even if you've been reading your Bible and, and spending time with God, there's always that certain place where that you and God, and you know how it works, you, you just like, you commune, and it's different for everyone. Sometimes people don't need to necessarily be praying and reading their Bible to achieve that. Other people need to do it overboard, so everybody knows that specific place where God starts to really speak to you. And so for me, I've been feeling that God has been calling me back to a deeper communion with him. And so, in the last few weeks, um, I've been spending more time and, and really just starting to hear from God and getting some clarity back and some understanding. And so, I've been praying, like I said, for God to show me the areas or the reasons why it's so easy for me to complain or why I choose to go that route. I don't want to be that person and so I want to be able to see why I do it so that I can change it. And yesterday, I came across some journal entries and they were actually journal entries of my husband from a, from before we were married and you know one of the entries just was talking about um, how much he cared about me and how he couldn't wait to be with me one day and just do life with me and and um, he was so thankful and so grateful to have met me and just really really basic and and um, it was one of those things where he didn't necessarily necessarily know that I would ever be reading that years later or ever, you know, it wasn't, we weren't dating at the time. And as I read it, I just really like had this uh, awareness come over me like, wow, I remember being on the opposite side. I remember being, you know, sad that, that my husband and I had been apart. I remember knowing it was the right thing at the time, but I was single and I was ready to be in a relationship I felt like and I was ready to be married and I wanted to have children and just all these desires in my heart were coming to a point where I just this is what I really felt like I really wanted and I had really been praying and seeking after God and asking him to really just fulfill those things in my heart this is five years ago and so as I read this journal yesterday I realized I remembered all of those feelings that I earnestly sought after God, that I begged him and I prayed to him and I'm pleading like, God, please answer these. I know you're faithful. I know you'll give me these things. These are the desires of my heart. And now five years later, I was like, God really, I mean, not only did he give me all the desires, but he really went above and beyond. And I realized, you know, here I am now in this position where it's just so easy for me to be like, oh, Jordan didn't do the laundry. Oh, why did he do the laundry this way? Or why did he put the towels in with that? You know, why did he bleach my shirt again? How many times? You know, whatever the complaint is, whatever meaningless temporary complaint. And I re realized in that moment, there's always going to be things, you know, there's always going to be things that we don't like that there's always going to be opportunities to complain, but there's what complaining does is complaining puts all of the focus on the negative instead of going, well, you know what? Even though Jordan washed my whites with the black and ruined that little load, even though he did that bad, you know what he did good? He uh, took the kids for me today while I worked. He gave them lunch. He put them down for a nap. He, uh, you know, he mowed the lawn. He took care of our bills. My point is that the things that he did do far outweigh the things that he didn't do. And being a complainer just pinpoints the bad things. And it totally, totally strips you from being able to be a grateful person for all of the things that are happening. And so I realized, you know, if I were to go back right now to the person I was five years ago, I actually have so much more wisdom, so much more strength, so many more things that I've been 
endured and, and gone through. But if I were to go back right now, I think the five year old, the five year ago version of myself would be like, how, how dare you complain about stupid things like laundry? Don't you remember how many hours I begged and I pleaded for a husband? Like, why are you complaining? Why are you choosing to complain? You're now in a position that you've got that. How dare you complain about wanting a car? Remember when I made a way for you to have a brand new car? Do you remember? It was beautiful and luxurious and, and more than you could afford and God made a way and now it's not good enough because it doesn't fit the stroller? Or how dare you complain about the house that you live in that came fully furnished? Don't you remember when you were in the one bedroom apartment with no furniture? And, um, you know, waiting all night for your husband to who worked at Starbucks, the 10 hour, you know, shift so that you could pay for your medical bills so that, you know, you could have your son. <laughs> Do you remember that? Do you remember when you were making zero money? How dare you complain about what you're making now? You're making far more than you were then. And I just realized in these moments, these types of thoughts, they are so healthy. It, it, if you go back right now and remember, remember the last thing that God did for you that you really were praying. Remember those things and continuously be a person that is grateful and thankful. Thank your parents if you have good parents that raised you and stuck around. If you didn't, thank the people who did. If you have a good husband that loves you and is faithful to you and tries, thank him. Husbands, you thank your wives. If, they, if they're a good wife that stands by you and supports you and put their life and their dreams and their goals on hold to serve yours, thank her. Remember to thank her. If your children are well behaved and they are fun and beautiful and they, you know, they are everything that you prayed to God for, thank them for being who they are. Thank your boss. Just become a person that is thankful and just watch and see so that when the next blessing comes your way, you won't have to look back to the five years in the past and remember why you need to be thankful. If you continue to be a grateful person and thankful now, you will get those blessings from God and you will enjoy them fully from beginning to end. And you won't need to go back and remember because they'll be in the forefront of your mind that God is a good God. He loves you. He is faithful and he wants to bless you. But all the blessings in the world don't matter if you choose to be ungrateful. So I hope that this helped you. I hope that you will turn around and just remember a few things, a few areas. And you know what? It doesn't have to be perfect right now. If your life isn't in a position that you want it to be in, go back and think, what are some things I can be thankful for even now, even in this situation? And just watch and see what God does to those things that you're, you're praying and believing for a change.